All right, so this video we're going to look at shading Venn diagrams, and we have three sets, A, B, and C. Uh, I've got some videos where I'm shading the Venn diagrams where there's just two sets. There's two videos on that. I would recommend watching both of those because it'll make this easier uh, if you go through them all. All right, so let's get started on this one. So let's look at the first one. We've got A, intersect, B, union, C, complement. Now, to do this, the, the first thing we need to do is figure out the part inside the parentheses. And then once we get that, we'll do whatever that is, intersect A. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw this. All right, so there's a set, there's a set, and there's one. We'll call this A, B, and C. All right, <clears throat> now we want to do B union C complement. Now you can try to figure out what to shade, but what I would recommend is doing it like this. Now all we're looking at is this part inside the parentheses here. So what I would do is I would come over here and I would shade B. And when you shade it, shade it with horizontal or vertical lines, it doesn't matter. We're going to shade one of them with horizontal lines and one of them with vertical lines. Okay, So there's B. Now we need to do C complement. So C complement, well, that's everything outside of C is C complement. So let's shade all of that in. All right, so here's B, the horizontal green lines, and here's C complement, the vertical red lines. Now, union, what does union mean? Well, union means everything in B and everything in C complement combined into one set. So what would get shaded? Well, everywhere there's a line because it's union. So there would be a line everywhere except for here and here. So what I would recommend is drawing another one. Okay. There's A, there's B, and there's C. Just break it down one step at a time. Now let's shade in B union C prime. I mean C, C complement. Now remember, that's everywhere we have a line. So it's everywhere but here and here. See, here and here. So I'm going to do that with horizontal lines. So let's see there. Okay, so there's uh, B union C complement. That's the horizontal lines here. Okay, now what do I want to do? I want to intersect this with A. Okay, so let's shade in A. And we'll shade A in with vertical lines. Okay, so there's A. All right, so I'm just breaking it down step by step, just doing one at a time. Don't try to do it all in your head because you'll end up messing it up. All right, so we're going to need a third one so we can put our final answer. There's A, B, C. <clears throat> all right, so I want the intersection of this set A and this B union C complement. Okay, so remember B union C complement, that's the horizontal green lines. A is the vertical red lines, and I want the intersection. So that's what they have in common is the intersection or where they overlap. Well, where do they overlap? Well, let's see if I can do this. You can see that they overlap. Oh, 
in here. You see that? That's the only place they overlap. So what would get uh, highlighted is, let's see if I can draw it over here. is this area in here see this area here so I would shade this part in and this would be my final answer okay and I know that's not a very good job but it's good enough alright so this would get shaded I know it kinda ran over right here but that's not shaded it's just this part right in right in here okay alright so let's take a look at another one <clears throat> all right so let's do this one now so let's draw our sets there's a B and C all right so we're gonna do what's in the parentheses first so I'm gonna do a complement intersect B complement so so let's draw A complement with horizontal lines, let's draw B complement with vertical lines, and then remember that would it would be where the lines intersect since we have intersection. All right. So A complement that's everything outside of A. So we'll draw that with horizontal lines. Right. Now let's draw B complement with vertical lines. So that's going to be the lines here. All right. Yep. All right. So remember, our final answer is where all the lines intersect. So you can see here that the lines intersect all outside of A and B. See, every, see in B and in A, there's no lines that intersect. So the only part that would get shaded was everything outside of A and B. All right, so let's draw our next one. We're just doing this step by step. I know the circles aren't the best, but they'll do. Okay. So there's A, B, and C. So for this, that's everything out here. So I'm going to draw that in with horizontal lines. All right. All right. So that's everything outside of A and B. Now, what do I want to intersect that with? I want to intersect it with C. So let's draw C with vertical lines. Okay. Now, where do they intersect? Well, you can see they just intersect in this part right here. Okay, because we, we've got intersection. So let's draw our last one. And if you wanted to, you could shade that in and erase the other lines. That would be fine too. Uh, I just do it like this. Just take it step by step. You're less likely to make a mistake. And so what would be shaded? Just this part here. So that would be just this. Okay. And remember, when you're shading these things, I know I've got it shaded pretty dark here and you can't really see it, but don't shade it so so much that you won't be able to see the C, okay? So you'll know what set that is, so I just kind of do that. Just shade it kind of light, you know, where you can see through or make the letters dark. All right, so there's that one. All right, let's take a look at the last one. And I'm also going to have some videos on with the Venn diagrams where you do it, have the word problems and you got to, uh, applications with the Venn diagrams. You may want to check those out too. Those will, those will be some pretty good problems. All right. And you know, while I'm drawing this, give me a hit the subscribe button, give me a like, and share, and uh, comment if you want to. Um, all right. So let's look at this. We're going to do what's inside the parentheses first. So I'm going to do A intersect B 
be complement. So let's do this inside the parentheses. So I'm going to draw A with horizontal lines. And then we need B complement. So I'm going to draw B complement. That's everything outside of B. I'm going to draw that with vertical red lines. Okay. And yeah, I know you may be able to see some of this without doing this. But, you know, and that's good if you can. But if you can't, then this is how I would go about doing it. Just makes it easier to me. All right. So we've got A intersect B complement. So intersection, that means we want to know where do the lines intersect. And you can see that they intersect, uh, let's see, right here. Let me see if I can highlight that. Uh, let's see, that's going to be let's see that part inside here. That's the only place the lines intersect. Okay, And sometimes that helps to kind of darken out the area where it is helps you see it a little better when you when you draw your next one. Alright, so A intersect B complement. That's this part right here. So we'll do that with horizontal lines. So that's gonna be let's see there. So that's that part. Okay. Now, what do we want to do? We want to do union C. So let's draw, we want to do this, which is the horizontal lines, union C. So let's draw C with vertical lines. Okay. All right. Now, we've got the union. So the union is everywhere there's a line. Okay, so what we can do here, we can come over here and draw another one and shade everywhere there's a line, or you could, since it's everywhere there's a line, we could actually just come here and kind of shade it in right here. Okay, because remember, union is everything in A, I mean, everything in this set plus everything in C combined into one set. And so this would be our final answer. And like I said, you could come over here and draw a new one if you wanted to. That would be fine. But that's the answer to that one. So I hope the video helped. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. Check out my other videos. And thanks for watching.